Notice something different? That's right, I finally got around to building one of the two birdies beds that I got from my birthday? Yeah, I think it was my birthday last year. Maybe it was Christmas. No, I think it was my birthday. Either way, the bed is finally built. I still have to fill it, but I've got some time before spring, and that's not a task I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Let's get on with today's video. Hello and welcome back to my garden. So today I'm gonna to be planting up some more seeds for springtime, even though it's still a ways off. Uh, I'm gonna start some of these seeds now. They'll germinate in the greenhouse, but today actually is a warm day. It's about 70 degrees. Tomorrow we're supposed to get some rain, which is Monday, which is probably when you're watching this, I hope. Either way, I'm gonna stop prattling now and tell you what we're gonna be sowing today. <laughs> First off is Bee Balm Panama Red. Now I have grown, so I have some Bee Balm out in the garden. Some of it has grown successfully, others not so much. But I'm gonna try out this variety, Panama Red again. Uh, I got this from Baker's Creek. That's, a, that's gonna be an interesting and fun one. The next one is Rubeckia Prairie Glow. Glow, yes, Prairie Glow. I can read even without my glasses. I just have to hold it out a bit. <laughs> I, I've never grown this one before, so I'm looking for this uh, forward to this one. Next one is Rebecca Cherry Brandy. Now, I've had this variety before when I lived in New York, I believe, and it was a nice flower, so I'm going to give it a whirl. I think it'll add a nice splash of red somewhere to the garden. The next one is going to be Black Eye Susan. Got to have some Black Eye Susan in the garden, and... I have to be careful because I think the deer like to nibble on it. So I'm gonna to have to be careful. I'm not gonna plant a lot of it, but I do wanna plant some, and I'm just gonna to have to be careful of, again, where I uh, plant it up. And the last bunch here is various marigolds. So let's see what do I have here. I have red knight. I have Lemon Gem. Lemon Gem is really nice. If you've never grown Lemon Gem Marigold before, I suggest you try some. It's really nice. When you brush up against it, it smells like lemons. It's freaking awesome. Cracker Jack. That's just the regular red and yellow flower. It's a pretty nice uh, variety there. And Sparky Mix. Now, I've grown Sparky Mix before. The flowers are quite small. It's nice. And I believe I grew that in a pot right out here at the greenhouse last year. So I'm going to give that a whirl again. In fact, actually, I may sow it in a pot today and see what happens. So let's get to sowing. All right, the first ones I'm going to plant up today is the Black Eyed Susan. I had purchased these from Select Seeds, but you can purchase them from many other places too. All right, so it says surface sow and firm lightly. So that's what we're going to do. These are very full, uh, small seeds. And so I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to sprinkle them on. What I really should have done was pre-moisten the soil. But it's not entirely necessary. All right, so this is my Black Eyed Susan. And I just surface sewed. And now we're just going to give it a light sprinkle. Let the water soak in. Easy peasy. How, how, how hard is it to start seeds? It's that hard. And I'm then gonna label. All right, and it's just the name and the date. And the only reason I put the date on there is so in, in case if four weeks down the line, I see no germination, I can look at the date and say, well, I planted these four weeks ago. These didn't germinate, throw the pot out because they should germinate within, according to the packet, seven to 14 days. So that's it for these. Let's go do the next one. Okay, so the next ones we're going to do are the Bee Bomb Panama Red. And these are also surface sown, but I'm gonna first pre-moisten the soil. Don't have to do this as, we sh as I showed with the other one, so it doesn't hurt. Most important thing is that the seeds are remain moist. These are very, very small seeds here. I don't know how these are gonna take there's not a lot of seeds here, so I'm gonna basically empty the whole packet. And now they say to firmly, or you could just turn around and take the back of your fingers here, just to press them in. And of course, label. Now, once these start germinating, again, because I don't want that many plants, and I don't know what the germination rate on these seeds will be. So let's say there's 100 seeds in here, maybe only 50 germinate, if I'm lucky. <laughs> maybe more, I don't know, we'll see. But 
I will thin them over time and only keep, let's say, maybe four because that's all I really want. This seed packet may have cost $4. I don't know what the seed packet costs, but let's say it cost $4. If I only keep four, that's a dollar per plant. That's still a huge bargain because if you went and purchased a fully grown Panama Red Bee Bomb, if you could find one in the store, it may cost you 10 to $15. Now the next up I'm going to do is my Rebecca's. This is Prairie Glow and Cherry Brandy. And I think I want quite a few of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sow them in a tray. And if you're new to gardening or if you're looking to get into gardening this year, it's again not rocket science. You see how quick and easy it is. Always read the back of your packet labels. Nine times out of ten, all the information you need to grow is there. Uh, these are also from Select Seeds, in case you were wondering. Surface sow and firm lightly. Uh, requires light to germinate. So it's gonna be basically the same thing for both of these. So again, I'll just, I'm gonna do a small tray of each of these and hopefully you get some good germination. In case you're wondering what sort of seed starting mix I'm using here, this is just regular potting soil. And I just make sure that I tamp out any or break up any large chunks. So like for instance, this might be a large chunk. Just break it up, spread the soil out, make sure everything gets filled. If I'm really concerned about the wood chips, I could always sift them, sieve them out, but I'm really not concerned about the wood chips. So this is Rebecca Prairie Glow. Oh, these seeds are super fine. You know they're super fine when they come in a little envelope. And I do a lot of seeds in trays like this, mainly because a lot of seeds are very fine. And to try to get those fine seeds into a cell, then it's, it's somewhat difficult. But if I just sprinkle them onto here, it's much easier for me. You do you, whatever's easiest and works for you. Just gently trying to spread them out here. And once again, I probably should have pre-watered, but that's okay, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so I got all my seeds in. I want to label this before I uh, put the vermiculite on. Stuff that right there. All right, water. If you're watering with a water can like this, just go slow, be patient, a little at a time. If you water too fast, what can happen is the seeds may get up, float, and move to one side of the container, especially if you're not on a level surface. They may all gather in the center off to one side, but if you just water gently a little at a time like this, this is fine. The other method that you could do, and you may have seen on many other YouTube channels, is I could take this tray and I could put it into another tray filled with water and let it soak up from the bottom. Could do that as well. This works for me. This is what I'm doing. And now let's just cover with some vermiculite. I'm getting low on vermiculite. I may have to buy some more. Then I'll put this on the bench to grow. If you're wondering where I've gotten these, uh, where I've got these small trays from, this is the tray is made by Garland. They're an English gardening company. They make all sorts of products, and you can get this at Greenhouse Mega Store. There's no sponsorship here, no links. Just go over to Greenhouse Mega Store. Look for small potting tray. They're made out of very, very thick plastic, so they will literally last you decades if you take care of them. Make sure we flatten this out. Fill up those corners. There we go. Now this one I can pre-moisten. So now this is pre-moistened. And then this is Cherry Brandy Rebecca. Cover with vermiculite. And of course label. How do you guys label your seedlings? Labels, do you just put the name? Do you put the name, the date? Do you put, perhaps if you're growing with a partner, your initials, so you know whose tray is who, which? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so for this next one, I'm gonna do something a little different, and I'm gonna sow my seeds directly into this large pot. This is a, I don't know, I think it's a 12 or 14 inch pot. It's a sizable pot, and I'm gonna put, be putting spar the Sparky Mix Marigold in here. The Sparky Mix only gets 12 to 14 inches tall, and I had them growing in here, I believe, last year, or was it the Red Knight? One of them, I had a <laughs> small Marigold growing 
here in this pot last year, right outside the uh, the greenhouse door, I was actually using it to hold the door open. And it's just a lovely thing to have right outside the greenhouse door to me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be putting these uh, right into this pot. But because of dangers of freezes and frosts, I will keep the pot here inside the greenhouse. I'll put it down on the floor and it'll just get watered regularly along with everything else in the greenhouse. But these get sown to, they're much bigger seeds and they get sown to a quarter inch depth. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to sprinkle a few around. Now these seeds are about a year old, so I don't know what their germination rate is going to be. And since the only thing I plan on having in this pot is these are these marigolds, I'm probably gonna do a little over sowing. And if I need to thin out some seeds, I will. Just wanna make sure I get, I don't have any really big blank spots here. All right, and I still have some seeds left over, which is great. I can use these again next year. We will see what happens. Like I said, I'm over sowing these and hopefully enough grow that they fill in the pot. Worst case scenario, not enough germinate, and then I'm left with gaps that I may want then filling with some other plant or dig them up from this pot and then replant them someplace else. So I've got my little extra topping. They say, only, they say plant about a quarter inch uh, deep. So I just put a little bit of soil on top. I'm gonna use a bigger water can to water this because that little one's just not gonna do it. Give it a good soak. And that's it. I think I'm gonna throw some vermiculite on top just to help with moisture retention. If you have any seed starting tips or hints, please leave them in the comments below. And then once it's once that last frost has passed, I can put them outside and then they can flourish holding open my greenhouse door. And of course, don't forget to label, which I almost did. <laughs> and this again was Marigold Sparky Mix. Now this one is the Red Knight Marigold. And this is also a compact Marigold. And these are two year old seeds. I'm gonna put them in a smaller pot I don't uh, want a lot of them, so I'm just gonna be planting them in this small pot for now. Now these are seeds I collected, and I'm also gonna over sow these because I don't know, again, they're two year old seeds. I don't know how viable they're gonna be. One out of every 10 may grow. So that one is done. Now I may keep these seeds depending upon how well these germinate. So if these germinate really well, I will keep these seeds for another year. If they don't germinate very well, I'll toss these seeds and then collect whatever I can or purchase new. Label, another batch of seeds are done. Now the next one I'm gonna plant up is Marigold Cracker Jack. This one gets two to three foot tall, four inch diameter blooms on the flowers. I think I'm gonna do a tray. So let me get a tray. And in this instance, we're going to use one of these metal trays with the removable cells. These will be nice that I can pull them out and pop out the plants. These trays I got from Gardener Supply. So if you want, you can head over to Gardener Supply and grab yourself. They have newer varieties which have a wicking mat on the bottom. It's a whole thing. I do not have a wicking mat because this is like the first generation. The other thing that I will point out is that the this tray does not have holes. I could drill holes, but I don't. So I just have to be mindful and careful about my watering so that I do not overwater the plants. I'm going to put, or I'm going to try to put, uh, anywhere from two to four seeds per tra uh, per cell. These seeds are 2022 seeds, so these are also old seeds. So I have no idea what the germination rate is going to be on these. So like I said, I'm going to try to put two to four per cell, and then we'll find out what comes up later. Cover with a bit more of potting soil here. Make sure each one is... Tamp down. Just want to ensure that there's enough coverage, enough uh, potting soil on top of them. That in there. Label, of course. Water. And these seeds are done. And the last ones I'm going to do are the lemon gem marigolds. Use your open packets first. They're, again, beautiful, beautiful flowers. Little yellow flowers. And when you brush up against them, it smells like lemons, which is very nice. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this entire packet. Mm. Yeah. Cover with some potting soil. I made a little 
tool that I can use to just gently firm it down this way. Everything makes good contact. I'm sure if you've been gardening for a number of years and you stumbled across my channel, this is all very boring for you because you've done this before a billion times. So I do apologize, but I'm just showing you what I'm sewing, why I'm sewing it, because or or even why I'm sewing it and what I'm sewing it in. You know what? I almost put this on the bench without putting a label on it. That right there. And this one I will cover with a bit of vermiculite. Again, it just helps retain that moisture in, into the soil. It's not a big deal. It doesn't hurt anything. So that's all the seeds I'm sowing today. I know many of you who watch this channel are quite experienced, so I do apologize for some of the boredom. Maybe you're interested to see what I'm planting and why I'm planting and what I'm planting it in. But a lot of what I'm doing, again, you've you've been doing most of your lives probably, or many, many more years than I have. You new gardeners, uh, again, welcome to the channel and hopefully you can grow along with me as I grow my green finger. <laughs> but as you can see here, the, the greenhouse bench is filling up. Before you know it, this side and the other side will be packed with flowers in various stages of growth. These are the few varieties I did today. Next week, let's see what I have. African daisy, dahlias. I have a mixed variety of dahlias we'll be planting. Lavender, sweet william. The week after that will be mullions and carnations and tobacco and larkspur and sage and oop tomatoes but that's what i'll be starting and zinnias so in the upcoming weeks there's still going to be a lot more seeds that are going to be sown hopefully i have room in the greenhouse for everything hey did you know i have a newsletter now if you go over to growinggreenfinger.com scroll the way down to the bottom of the home page Go ahead and put in your email address and you will only get one newsletter once a month. You'll get a recap as to what happened during the month here in the garden and a few other random thoughts and things that I may wind up dropping into the newsletter, but you only get one newsletter once a month at the end of the month. And I, that's just so I don't bombard you guys with all sorts of nonsense because nobody likes junk mail, right? So go ahead and scroll over to growinggreenfinger.com. Like I said, scroll on the bottom of that homepage and subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, click that bell icon to be notified when I do post a new video. This way you can follow along with my antics, see what I'm sowing, see what else is going on in the in the garden. There's so much other, there's so many other different projects. Like I said, I just re, uh, got the birdie's bed, the one birdie's bed built yesterday or the day before recently. <laughs> and I still have another one to build and fill. Hopefully I can get them both done before springtime. This way I can grow something in those beds. So sadly, Sophie has abandoned me today and she's gone to spend some time with my wife. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.